Hey everybody, Befron here, and today we are jumping into Phyrexia All Will Be One Commander Decks. Let's jump in. Alright folks, so here it is, the Phyrexian All Will Be One Commander decks, Corrupting Influence and Rebellion Rising. There were only two that came out in this set, and here they are right in front of us today. So excited to jump into these. I'm opening these for different reasons. This one, this is uh, Corrupting Influence, the toxic one. I really just like the deck, I'm probably going to go ahead and play it. And Rebellion Rising has a lot of good reprints that we can take a look at today. So we'll go ahead and jump into these. But before we do, if you're watching this now, chances are you're not subscribed because only 1% of my viewers are subscribed. So please help me to change that like and subscribe below. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump back in with our Phyrexian, uh, Phyrexia All Will Be One Commander decks. So we'll go ahead and start with Corrupting Influence. Um, so I've opened a few of these on the channel, so I'm not going to belabor this too much, but... As a quick summary for those who have not opened the Commander decks, basically you get one thing that you want and a lot of trash in here. Uh, nothing else in here is valuable. So go ahead and toss that. We're gonna keep it very safe. And these boxes are always garbage. They're always untaped and un whatever. Nice little filler with nothing in it. A life counter right here. And the actual Commander deck that people are looking for. And also this fun little uh, collector booster sample. So they give you a sample with of a collector booster with two cards in it. And Ixel, Son of Atraxa. So this deck is all about poison counters. So there really, there have been a decent number of cards that did poison counters, obviously like Lightsteel Colossus, um, but nothing that it would be probably a little difficult to make a deck around it until now this kind of completed some of the uh, that cycle of cards, some good reprints too, Ghostly Prison, Swords to Plowshares, all the usual kind of stuff that's becoming um, kind of usual Night Whispers and Commander decks anymore. And overall, just a lot of good Proliferate, Infect, Poison, um, all that kind of good stuff. So that's the three main effects of this deck, Proliferate, um, Infect, and Toxic, sorry, not Poison, uh, Toxic. And nice little reprint in um, Chromatic Lantern. So yeah, you know, nice little uh, deck of reprints and one I'm actually gonna play, I think. So stick around. I'm going to actually do a, um, you know, deck tech uh, commander uh, upgrade on this deck in a future video. So stick around for that. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but overall an interesting deck. So we'll keep that one. Oh, did this deck come with the Alt art lands. Now I remember in Capenna, they gave you along with like the regular lands, they gave you like three of the like special full art lands that came in Capenna, which was kind of nice. And here we go, Rebellion Rising. So the last deck, like I was saying, was is good for its um, like actual being a deck, and I, I like the concept of it, and I think it's still fairly unique. Uh, there's our Rebellion Rising trash. Um, and but this deck has a lot of good reprints so i'm probably this is probably going to be a deck that i take apart and use for those reprints another collector booster pack some filler right here and uh let's see our life counter and our neali sons vanguard so i'm thinking that these cards were actually also printed in japan because i'm noticing that they're not like warping yet like even the, fo the foils are usually awful so i didn't realize that but maybe they are so generous gift obviously a really good reprint that goes into every white deck for removal path to exile same thing and let's see boros charm always a good two or three dollar card you can sell if you don't need an extra copy felwar stone mind stone soul ring come on where's the stuff we're actually looking for there's two really good cards clever concealment any number of target non-land permanents you control phase out at instant speed so it's a depending on what you have on the board could be an all right to fairies protection or maybe even slightly better to fairies protection in some cases obviously it doesn't give you protection from losing life 
the convoke thing makes it a little easier to cast, which is nice. Obviously, like if you have a lot of creatures on the field, Bever Concealment has a huge benefit, right? If somebody plays your um, Wrath of God. So like, you're probably only playing this when you have a lot of creatures on the field, so you can convoke. And obviously using your creatures to pay for it doesn't hurt because they're gonna phase out anyway. So it's not like you could use them as blockers or something, they're phased out. So really good card. Um, I think this is like 10 bucks already. Uh, but super good card. It's, you know, a slightly cheaper Teferi's Protection. Um, pretty good overall. Court of Grace. We've seen a lot of those courts. I was surprised they printed a Planeswalker, Elspeth, in this deck versus the other deck, right? Planeswalkers can be good if there's a lot of proliferate because you can just keep adding um, loyalty counters to them. So I was surprised when I saw this in the deck list that they put a Planeswalker in this deck versus in the other deck. I mean, the... the its loyalty abilities make sense, but like, yeah, I just didn't get it. And, uh, oh, that's not a flawless maneuver. There it is. So there's the other card. This is another one of these instances that if you control your commander, you can pay it without, play it without paying its cost. So that's a big thing. Um, there, there were a whole cycle of these printed in Commander 2020 where, yeah, if you control your commander, play it without paying its mana cost. And this is the one in white, which you can control. Can gain indestructible so kind of like a um i'm not going to be i can't think of the name now i'm going to post a picture on the screen but it's the green one that where everything you have gets indestructible so obviously this one's only creatures so not quite as good but uh still really good if you can play it for free it's excellent if you can play it for free and those are the main two cards again just like a lot of you know small stuff all the sky claves um white sun zenith uh you know, little things here and there that, that are good, but nothing too crazy. Idol of Oblivion, nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Slayer Stronghold. So overall, pretty cool deck. Let me know what you think of those in the comments down below. Which deck are you going to buy? Which deck are you going to keep as is? Which are you going to use for parts? But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into our collector booster packs. So there is, as I've been saying, I did open, well, I don't know if they'll be posted just yet. Maybe I will post them after or before, but I did open two of the set boxes, got some excellent pulls in those. So you should definitely go watch those videos, but there's one card I'm still looking for, which is Venerated Rot Priest. So hoping I can pull that in this and obviously Venerated Rot Priest, I am looking for, for this deck. Um, so it would be very appropriate if I could pull it. Got another Thrumming Bird here. We have, gosh, we must have like 30 Thrumming Birds at this point. I feel like we pulled it again. Phyrexia all we want is a relatively small set, so not surprising that we're getting a lot of duplication, but wow, a lot of Thrumming Birds. And we got, oh, that kind of came apart. Vishgraz, the Doom Hive, and uh, Bone Picker Scourge. So I think this one actually does come in this deck, I'm pretty sure. Um, but not what we're, I think this is the backup commander actually. Anyway, not what we're looking for, but not bad. Another little uh, mythic is always nice. So anyway, this has been a review of the Phyrexian All Will Be One Commander decks. If you like what you see, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also stick around when I do a deck upgrade for the Corrupting Influence deck. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.